all right welcome back to one of my fishing planet bro and we're going to be catching american shad so the setup i got here so i got me a dlc setup uh it's overpowered for what we're going to be doing so small float this is the smallest one i got just a number one hook shrimp 40 inch liter and we're gonna go over here from dawn to dusk okay now we will not be fishing here at night and you can catch trophies here of these i think the biggest one i got is an eight pounder and i caught it right off this spot here where i'm getting ready to show you Okay, so we're here, and just to show, let me show you this. Some of fish records. Soon as we find it there oh that's a white bass well we still haven't got the eight pound fish yet there it is okay so there it is I actually caught this one off of minnows not the shrimp, but in the same spot. All right, so let's just go ahead and next morning. All right, ready? So ooh, another twenty-five thousand dollar day for me here. No, that is not all on American Shad. Hmm. There we go. And we're just going to run right on over here to the spillway. And all you need to do, see where my marker is right there. Cast it over here and just let it float down. Now we'll say cloudy days are better for the shad here, but they'll buy you regardless here. You know, unless I broadcast, and then they never want to bite. Oh, there we go. It's the way it usually happens for me. So there we go. All right, is the first one a trophy? There he is. Look at that seven pounder first fish, right here. You get fish from 5 a.m. to 5 a.m. They will bite the whole time. So we'll keep that one. Now I will be doing multiple species here at Saint Croix videos this to show if you look up I am doing my 30-day challenge and for the first 
11 days of this trip I've been experimenting and reading up and seeing what other people are doing. I just chose to start here with the American Shad. Alright, there we go. We got a bite. There we go. Fish on. Oh, this is one fighting pretty good here. Alright, just under three pounds. You don't really have to cast out like I am. I just cast it up there and let it float up there. Yeah, that's a small one here. That's all, yeah. All fish are welcome to you. Causing all that chaos on top of the water, making everybody else think something's up. There's another bite. Fish on. Another decent fish here. Decent. For shad, that is, of course. Yep, 3.4 pounder. ADC, you don't get a whole lot of experience. You probably get more than what I can if you use appropriate level gear. Or, but I am using overkill just to catch them uh, you know you do see that I am a level 40 you see we're almost getting bites almost as soon as it hits the water now There we go. Another one. Now, just in case. Oh, look at that five pound trophy. Nice. How far do you want to let it go? Anywhere up, up to this point here. Oh, not right there. Bad cast. So, right up in here. It's about as far as you want it to go. We'll see if we can get a bite right now over there. As you see, I'm not getting as many bites right here, so let's drill that in to about here. So if you can keep it in the spillway, it is best, but I will admit, I did catch the big 8-pounder outside the spillway.
So you see how easy, here we are, getting bites already. Another fish, another shad on right here. And I don't really catch anything else other than shad in here in the spillway. See, and sometimes it takes a little bit for them to get on, but just leave it out there and hook them. But that is it on the shad. Uh, pretty straightforward. Now we'll go ahead and show you a spot. Now if you come in this corner. And if you look over here straight ahead, you'll see two markers. So we're going to change the gear up here. And this is where you can catch some trophy white bass. And I got to take a look at my uh, notes here. So we're just going to switch uh, up to a shiners. And change the hook to a foro. And I'm going to put the X Series 4 hook on. So. And you just want to cast right on over here. You also use small minnows right here, too. And just be careful. There's a rock on the right side. And if you hit that, you usually go flying. And I might have put the wrong hook on here. Well, I'm getting something going on here, it looks like. Oh, maybe it's just moving with the water. I think I was supposed to put a 2 0 with a minnows here. But it is doing something over there. And they're doing a little dancing. Yep, there's the bite. A little beep. What this is here. See if it's one of our trophy white bass. So there we go, fish on. See what we got here. And there it is. But I will do a whole new other video on how to catch these trophy white bass another time. Thank you for watching the American Shad portion of St. Croix.